The Electoral Commission is facing hard questions on the tallying of presidential vote numbers, even as it races against time to complete verifying details from polling stations and constituencies across the country. Confusion on the number of votes received by Jubilee Party presidential candidate Uhuru Kenyatta and the voter turnout marked the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission briefing. Well, meanwhile, opposition leaders have dared the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to declare President Uhuru Kenyatta winner in the October 26th repeat presidential poll. The leaders led by Sarah Senator James Orengo say they will use the August 8th general election results to declare opposition chief Raila Odinga president, that is if Uhuru is sworn in. In the same breath, Deputy President William Bruto now says that the opposition used an organized militia to disrupt the repeat election and that according to him, that is the worst kind of injustice to those who did not get the chance to vote. Raila Odinga, on the other hand, says he will, he is willing to talk, but only on the modalities of having another free, fair, and credible election in the next 90 days. Question is, will he have his way? Very good evening to you. Welcome to Crossfire. So before I introduce my panelists, my panelists here with me in studio, allow me to cross over to the Bournemouth of Kenya where our Rita Tinina is standing by. Rita, good evening. Good to see you. IBC Chair of Fulochi Bukati held a press about 30 minutes ago. Uh, for the benefit of our viewers who did not get to listen in, what exactly did he have to say on the numbers and probably the process? Well, Linda, the IBC chairman tried to settle uh, the controversy that has been surrounding the tweets. He has been tweeting about figures uh, of the current, the just uh, concluded repeat presidential uh, poll. And one of them, the most controversial one, was a 48% voter uh, turnout. What happened is that when he tweeted uh, that there was 48% voter, uh, voter turnout, ordinarily, uh, most people thought it was based on, compared to the 19.6 million registered voters. Voters. But according to Chebukati, that was not the case. And he says that was based on just one hour, between four and five on polling day. He says this was the peak time and officials, IBC officials, took a snapshot. He says that is the period between which most people, as polls close at five, most people will be rushing to the polling stations to vote before the polls close. And so he says between four and five, the statistics showed that 4.4 million people were voting during that time. And this was indicated uh, by statistics being uh, submitted by 17,000 uh, KEMS kits. So he was explaining that in those 17,000 KEMS kits, in those areas, there are uh, 9.2 million registered voters. So compared to the 4.2 million who turned up to vote, then he says they arrived at the figure of 48%. Then there was another tweet, 6.5 million voters, which he uh, he says, was arrived at at 10 p.m. on polling day as well. And by then, he says, 33,000 KEMS kits had sent in their information. And those 33,000 KEMS kits in those areas, there are 16.2 million registered voters. So 16.2 million registered voters compared uh, to the 6.5 million who turned out to vote, then he says, that's 40 percent. But he's also blaming the media and those on social media as well saying they just concentrated on the two tweets when he said the 48 percent best estimate and when he said about the 6.5 million registered voters and after that there was a tweet in which he indicated he says please note as more and more devices get networked the figures uh, get updated so he says after he made that tweet, the uh, devices continued getting network from the areas that had no network coverage. And so that is how the figures have managed to change since then. 6.5, right now 259 constituencies have their results uh, verified. The figure stands at 7.5 million. President Uru Kenyatta has 7.4 million of those. Uh, Linda, the IEBC chairman, he addressed uh, the press around 7 p.m. Uh, this evening. He had promised to come back at 8.30. But just five minutes ago, the vice chairperson, Connie Miner, was here. She announced that that will not be happening. She says they've just received the Form 34B and Forms 34A from Trucano West constituency. And that constituency, the election 
in five polling stations happened yesterday. So he says the commission has just received uh, uh, the forms. They are verifying them. And he says so that press briefing that was scheduled for 8.30 tonight will be happening tomorrow morning, though she didn't indicate exactly what time uh, that will be. But remember, Linda, as well, up until now, the country does not know the exact uh, number of people who turned out to vote. Chebukati says there was a snapshot between 4 and 5 on the 26th, another uh, at 10 p.m. on the same day. Some other figures were taken, but up to till, till now, he says, the KM's kits are not the, on, the only ones which were used to uh, identify voters. He says there are those who are identified manually, those who are to fill Form 32A. That was a question he had promised to come and answer at 8.30 to give the exact number of those who were not identified by the KM's kits. So, but Linda, I think we'll have to wait until uh, tomorrow morning as the commission indicated. So clearly uh, an all-nighter with uh, probably no more information coming through. Rita Tinina uh, speaking to us from the bombers of Kenya with the latest from there with respect to the presser that Wafula Chebukati, the IBC chair, had a couple of minutes ago. We were expecting him to give a press briefing at about 8.30. Rita says um, that is not going to happen. Probably the next uh, press briefing we're going to have um, will be tomorrow morning. Rita, as always, thank you for speaking to us. You're watching Crossfire. Thank you so much for joining us. So let me introduce my panelists here in studio with me. To my immediate right, I have Owidi Odoyo, who's a NASA strategist. Right next to him, we have Ambrose Weda, who's a lawyer. But then he also is a Jubilee strategist. Um, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today in the evening um, on Crossfire. Um, Weda, let me begin with you. So Rita says so far, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has 7.4 million votes. Chebukat is not forthcoming with as much information as probably he should as the IEBC chair. Give me your assessment of this entire process. You said you're beginning with Weda, but You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. You start, yeah, OK. The, the, the sense that we have, yeah. 7.4 million yeah. is not backed by anything. Not papers, not KM skits, nothing. So it is just a word said by certain people. Uh, we have had many people say their own. Somebody said it is 3.5, another one said 4.7, Chebukati at one point said 6.5, and so on. All these have no backing from anywhere. So they are just words like that. You remember, I don't know if you will, but I do, mm. on 28th of July this year, just before the original general election. Mr. Jebukati came out to address Kenyans on the preparedness of the elections. And he said, the Kiams kids will make fraud not possible in this election. And he promised us that the Kiams kit will update bombers of Kenya every three hours on the voter turnout. Mm -hmm. That was Jebukati speaking. And he also said there are only 5,300 voters in Kenya who cannot be identified by the Kemp's kit. This is a figure that cannot change. A voter turnout rounded off to the nearest one decimal place, <laughs> anywhere, anytime. So for them to now come and tell the Kemp's kits are now not giving us figures, uh, all I conclude is that uh, Jubilee has stopped competing with anybody, but they are now competing with the voter turnout. So now they are suppressing the voter turnout so that they win. Because that, that's all I can say. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the NRM has run into a wall. <laughs> okay. So they are struggling with the question of legitimacy. They are like, if Uru does not get 8 million, then the rest are Raila's voters. I've seen it. The fact is this. This time, if you do not have Honda Braila on the ballot competing, it's like uh, uh, President Uru going for elections and opposed. Okay. If you have Raila going for elections without Uhuru, it's like Raila going for elections and opposed. So the numbers make sense to you. Uh, so this election, President Uru was basically an opposed in the absence of Honda Braila, with just a few of my friends who are escorting him with a few votes, as usual. So the turnout that an opposed president needs is about, let's say, about 90 votes. Mm. 90. So that you get at least two votes in 24 uh, counties, 
and then you add overall, and you have won. That is the minimum the constitution requires. So okay. the turnout that they are battling with yeah. here, the turnout has surprised them. It's okay. almost about 8 million. And because President Uri is unopposed, in the absence of Raila, he has gotten everything. And these people are shocked. So they want to say, oh, there was nothing. Kiam's kit have given them. The turnout was 2 million. No, the but the turnout, the turnout, turnout be must an be an back with it? something. Either pieces of please paper listen, or listen. reading from the Kiam's kit. Please but listen. the turnout listen, is from NRM, where does NRM, uh, NRM. <laughs> Now that you have turned into NRM, I don't know. We expect more chaos okay. from your debates. <laughs> but the Kiam's kit so far counted yeah. shows that there are about 7 Point five million, and because what President Uru was what did you just say? He has, it so far. Oh yes, nobody has used those things. Not even Chebukati please, please, why can't you listen? Said so. Please listen, Mr. I Wendy. am listening. <laughs> this NRM is uh, too noisy. It's okay. So it's about what has been gathered is about <laughs> seven point five. Okay. Seven point four something. Yeah. And because President Uru was basically an opponent in the absence of Raila, he has collected all those votes. Okay. But there are still a few constituencies that either did not vote, that will be excluded, or some that voted that are coming. And remember, the, the IEBC has up to Thursday. So there is no hurry. And this time they have to get it right. So mm. there is no big hurry, like they have to tell us today. Let the, uh, this case come in. Then they automatically declare President Uru elected. Then the NRM can go to court. Their only hope is in the Supreme Court. Okay. If there, nothing good comes for you from Supreme Court, your goose is cooked. The rest you can ban things. Wait, the way you are banned mine, and Wait, uh, then if it does not work, I am you're so out. sorry. I am mm -hmm. so sorry. No, about no, that. there's but nothing to be sorry about. Oh, I'm I'm so can't sorry. You know what God says? What? In all things, give thanks. Okay. All things work for the good of those who trust in the Lord. So. The sympathies alone I have received. I say, God, thank you. Even Listen, my brother, enemies are... I need, I need to speak to Weda. No, hold on. Uh, okay. This is my show. I, <laughs> okay, I, I, I decide dear. which... NRM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Weda, listen. Yes. Uh, the, the back and forth, the flip-flop yes. uh, of IEBC chair of Fulache Bukati on yes. the turnout and the uh, numbers, yes. does it worry you? And before you answer that, I'd like to listen to Fulache Bukati explaining yes. the tweet that he sent. Could we listen to that? about the tweets on 6.5 million. Now we have uh, our team working on, uh, now that we have received, you know the number of that four A's we have received. The team is working on the exact figure of how, what was the voter turnout. And you'll be getting a comprehensive figure as per those forms which have been received. So as of the time the tweet went out, that was the figure in the course of today or as soon as we receive it, we shall give you our figure as to the turnout. So please be patient as we work on the exact figure. So again, where the back and forth by IBC chair, does it worry you? I mean, this is a man who a couple of days before the election said, I, I, under the current circumstances, I cannot guarantee a free, fair, credible election. I think, I think uh, uh, they are doing the, their best within the circumstances. But I think uh, Fula Chebukati must be coping bad manners from President Trump. Okay. Trying to tweet things on a very serious thing in this country. In this country, if I was in his shoes, I would only call the press when I have my figures, and I tell them, as at this moment, my documents read this. Mm. I would not resort to tweeting and Facebook and phone calls and so on. And uh, it is not too late to learn. I would tell my senior brother, he's slightly senior, that these elections, the NRM are looking for a small excuse. Mm -hmm. So every time you open your mouth, please look at the form 34A, 34B, give, uh, give it to us, leave out those Trump things of tweeting. It, it has now been captured and it is being used to, oh, you tweeted this in the morning, you are tweeting this at lunchtime, you are tweeting this in the evening. So, mm -hmm. These tweets are causing confusion. You shouldn't even have been tweeting in the no, first place. No, even the Lord doesn't allow him to tweet. No, no. The law allows him to freedom make of, announcements. Where the freedom of expression? He is not supposed to be free, he has no freedom. <laughs> <laughs> when he speaks okay, as chairman, actually, actually, please yeah, listen, <laughs> when he speaks as chairman of IBC, yeah. he is speaking strictly within the law. Okay. When he speaks as we are full of Chebukati, the king of West Ham. Then he can tweet anyhow. Okay. You get but it? When Odoe he here speak. is speaking as NRM, he's within the NRM confines. Okay. So he's not allowed to tweet. 
Okay. Calvin. He's allowed to just come out I, and tell I, us this is what we have received, this is what we expect. It See is you very again. difficult to help Ambrose Weda because huh. Ambrose Weda knows, as I do, that Chebukati is under siege. <laughs> Chebukati himself is a hostage to, to Jubilee. Because you remember Chebukati came and told us in public hmm. that he's a hostage to a group of commissioners who overrule him, or even in matters of law, which he believes he knows best. Chebukati <laughs> is not making any decisions by himself. Even the 48, he was told to say it is 48. So when pressure became too much, he actually checked by himself and said, no, <laughs> let me just say it. Mm -hmm. it and I'm sure yeah. Chebukati has no access to the official IEBC Twitter account. He yeah. has not. Let me that is why he could not use it. Wait, okay, you, you will talk. Your time will come. <laughs> but surely, why are you making allegations that you cannot subscribe? Wild it? allegations that when I want to say, you say, no, 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 no. I am sure, as I sit here, if he was had access to that Twitter account, mm. he would have used it to tweet his 6.5 million votes. But why tweet? Why not, doesn't he just give a press? There was no time to call the press again and <laughs> no, tell the truth. They are there, the press media is stationed at the Linda, of Kenya. I told you here in my opening remarks okay. that Chebukati himself <laughs> got out on the tw on 28th of July, 10 days to the general election, yes. and told us he will use the Kim's kits to update us on the voter turnout, not yes. results. Yes. Every three hours, the 12 irreducible minimum demands by NASA, the only one that Chebukati responded positively to was to give the public the voter turnout without prodding. He promised to give it every three hours. He has not done it. He did not do it. Why? Because he is under siege from people like Ambrose. When I hear you are the one in charge of keeping Jim under now, siege. Let me react to things because, you know, when NRM blasts out propaganda, you have to go systematic. Okay. First, yes. we have one commission. That commission has commissioners. Yes. They actually work through voting. There is no imperial that chairman. Is the please that's listen. Happening. They are supposed please to listen. work through consensus, Buana. Okay, can you let they, me talk? Please. So every commission works through voting. Okay. Even the Supreme Court, you saw it. When they were nullifying the presidential election, they voted for and the majority. Against had their way. So the majority. Just like those who are in Jubilee are uh, complaining about the voting in the Supreme Court. So Chebukati may also be complaining about the voting in uh, IEBC. But that is how the law was set, how, that is how it works. Mm -hmm. So saying that he understands more law than the other, that one is neither here nor there. Two, they have to agree on what to disseminate to the public. It is not about him coming out and then giving figures and then going back. Number three, he is not allowed to tweet. He's supposed to get the Kiam skit, announce, come back, mm. and continue announcing. But because... Which law does not allow him to tweet? The stop, election, stop the election law, Kenya the constitution... You can tweet uh, anytime. In fact, all commissions, all organizations, I see they have Twitter the accounts tweeting. and they tweet. What does says Chebukati doesn't Even have that you, you tweet. Even yes, I tweet. Court, tweet. They, I, we tweet. Yes. But when you are talking so about... Did no you law. see the Supreme Court? Just listen. Did you see the, the Supreme Court? This section of law... <coughs> Let me ask you. The commission Did you see tweet. the Supreme Court tweet their decision? <laughs> <laughs> that is now. You know, you know, there are things you tweet. There are things you don't tweet. Because Please. It only takes 180 yeah. characters. Okay, yeah. so the Supreme Court didn't have the option of tweeting. So, uh -huh. let me tell you that this talk of KM skate figures are not telling this and that, it is just worry. NRM realizes they've run out of options, they have closed NASA, they have mm. opened a new front, and now their only hope is in the Supreme Court. So how do you make that hope larger? Try to throw mud at the election process. Okay. Chebukati himself said, I will not be able to guarantee a free fair, and fair election. election. Why? Because the general who controls about 6 million Kenyans had said there will be no elections, and he called his supporters. And indeed, where I come from, I could not be vote because Baba himself, General Joshua, had declared no vote, and we but, could vote. Uh, weather, so in weather, those circumstances, there are no free weather, fair elections. Weather, to be fair, yes. a day before that, Raila asked his supporters to stay home.
That he was tongue in cheek. <laughs> we have worked with him. Okay. Deal with those guys. Where that? Where that? No, 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 no. no. Where I think you are, you are crossing the, no, the red line now, <laughs> guys. This is my show. Okay, Weda, yes. a quick one. Yes. So do you think with 7.4 um, voters voting for Uru Kenyatta, yes. should IBC just declare this thing? IBC had candidates, including a uh, 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 passive Honorable Ilo Dinka. He was passive in this election in the sense that his name was there, but he did not participate. So the candidates were there. Mm. And that election was ordered by the Supreme Court. Whatever it is, they have to declare. Okay. Then if something is wrong with it, again, Supreme Court will look at it. Justice Maraga said, if anything is wrong, bring it back. No, he said, it. if you bring something that looks like this, yes. a petition that looks yes. like this, we will... So, I think that is why they are saying, this thing is so bad, we are going back. So, you are, their hopes, the NRM, their only hope is in God Almighty, if God is listening to you, and the Supreme Court. If it does not nullify... Get into the forest which you are getting. What is IEBC waiting <laughs> okay. for now that they can't declare the results? It's not complete. They have still seven days. It will seven not days. be complete because yeah. there are places where the elections have not taken place. Now those ones will be left out. Why will they be left out? Because and they are General has closed them. Mm. No, General Buana. Joshua said no elections this here. This country has a government. This country. We don't want the police to go there and kill people. The police. This country have the first people everywhere. How many people have they killed? In Migori alone, there are nine people. Unfortunate. Who have been we, shot we, we, in their pelvic Very sorry. That, that, that's that's very bad. And in that's why we don't want the numbers to increase. In Kisumu, there are 29. Pole. In fact, there was something that happened in this thing. These people seem to have been given direct instructions. <laughs> Kill just a few, but ensure that you maim as many as possible because hey. the Luo must hey. be disciplined. Oh, 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 Let me Luo. tell you for The Luo's cannot be disciplined. They are spread all Let over in Britain, America. I'm How do you discipline them? You have been heard to say that Luo's are primitive people because they I, destroy property. I, Remember, there was a, I, oh, there was a community <laughs> that burnt people oh, in a church. I bind there is also life. a community that burnt whole families okay, in a church. Because I bind your mouth in the name of Jesus. I don't lie. What are that happened in this country? And then you say... Some people primitive. by destroying property are primitive. Okay, who can, can be more primitive than you somebody know, NRM, who burns a whole congregation in a church? NRM is somebody not going who to get burns power. a whole family in a house. All right, NRM, NRM is not going to get power people. by telling lies okay. about people like this. It's a lie that okay. people are burnt in no, church. It is a lie in, that I say you are primitive. <laughs> Listen, and you are lying. You people your are very many. I can show you where it is safe. So can, can, we, can, we, can we give me some time to talk? Please. Okay. Yeah. okay. So can we... <laughs> I need... Uh, Xavier, are we taking a break? Okay, so I need to take a break and then we listen to what <laughs> Jeff Sorengo had to say. Um, if at all IBC gets to uh, declare this and Uhuru Kenyatta is so on, could we take that break now? <laughs> 